numbers from 0 to 100. Hey, hello kids. I am Parrot and I welcome you to this lesson. So, let's see what will you learn in this lesson today. Reading the numbers in 1s and 10s and determining the number by counting 1s and 10s. So, today Chotu and Pinky have come to the market to buy a toy. Pinky, look at this. This is such a nice toy. We should buy it. Yes, Chotu, you are right. The price written here is rupees 38. 38 rupees means we have to give 3 notes of rupees 10 and also 8 coins of rupee 1. But why is that, Chotu? Look, Pinky. In 38, 3 is in the tens place and 8 is in the ones place. 3 tens means 3 counts of 10 or 3 notes of 10 rupees. And 8 ones means 8 coins of 1 rupee. So we have to give 3 notes of 10 rupees and 8 coins of 1 rupee. Isn't it right? Yes, Pinky. Come, let us buy it now. Chotu gave 38 rupees to the shopkeeper and took the toy from him. So today Chotu and Pinky have come to the museum with their mother. They are seeing many interesting and antique items here. So come let's see what all three of them are seeing. Oh wow, there are so many utensils here. Mom, why don't we use such utensils at our home? Chotu, these utensils are really old and they were used a long time ago. Chotu, come let's see how many utensils are these. Yes, Pinky, let us count these. Chotu, here 10 utensils are kept together. So, it will be easy for us to count. Yes, you are right, Pinky. These are 10, 20, 30 and 40. These are 40 utensils. Pinky, see 5 more utensils are kept here. Hi again, kids. So, do you know how many utensils did Chotu and Pinky see in the museum? After 40 utensils, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. This makes total 45 utensils. Hey kids, did you see how Chotu and Pinky counted these utensils? There were 4 sets of utensils containing 10 each, which means 4 tens. So, in the tens place would be 4. And 5 more utensils, that is 5 ones. It means 5 would come in ones place. So, children, Chotu and Pinky saw 45 utensils in total. So children, that's all for today. And in this video, we learn to read numbers in tens and ones and counting numbers by tens and ones. In the next video, we will learn to count numbers forward and backwards. Till then, bye-bye kids.